morning students welcome to standard 1 mental maths class students tell me do you all love to celebrate festivals yes i'm sure you all must be fond of it isn't it students okay students now look here what is this students yes this is a bell now students can you all name any festival in which we decorate our house with bells yes it is christmas very good now students look here what is this yes this is a card can you all see this card is for whom yes this card is for a teacher and when can you give this card to your teacher you can give it on teachers day isn't it yes what can you see in this picture students yes there's a little boy and a girl so these children can be gifted something or we love children on a special day isn't it what is that day called students that day is called children's day so in today's class we are going to study about some of the important dates of the year look here students important dates first of all you should know what are important dates students there are certain days which we celebrate on the same date every year the date does not change so some of these days are called the important days of the year now let us see some of the important days number 1 New year new year is celebrated on 1st january republic day is celebrated on 26th january number 3 don bosco day don bosco day is celebrated on 31st january number 4 earth day earth day is celebrated on 22nd of april number 5 Labor's Day. Labor's Day is celebrated on first of May. Let us move on to the next topic that is follow the pattern. In this, students, two numbers are given, and you have to understand the pattern between the two numbers. That is the difference. Is it the difference of one, two, or by ten? and then after understanding the pattern you have to continue writing the other numbers now students let us see some questions related to follow the pattern number 1 100 200 then three dashes are given so what can you find here students after 100 it is written 200 so the pattern being followed here is a gap of 100 so if after 100 200 then what will be here it will be 300 then 400 and here 500 number 2 1000 One thousand one. So here only one ahead number is there. That means there is a pattern of skip counting of one. After one thousand, we have one thousand one. So after one thousand one, we'll have one thousand two. Then we'll have one thousand three, and then one thousand. Four, is this clear? Number three, nine hundred, eight hundred. What can you find here, students? There is a difference of hundred, but it is backward counting. 
After 900, it is 800. So you have to move backward. 900, 800, then we'll have 700, 600 and 500. Is this clear? Number 4. 100, 105. What can you find here students? There's a difference of 5. The skip counting by 5. So you'll count 5 after 105 and then you'll move forward. So after 105 you'll count 5. So 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. So here you will write 110. 110 then it will be 115 and then 120. Is this clear students? Number 5. 2010, 2011. Here there is only a difference of one number. We are just moving forward by one number. So after 2010, if it is 2011, then after that it will be 2012, then 2013 and then 2014. Let us move to the next topic that is expanded form. Students, in expanded form, you have to expand the number. That means you have to separate the digits and add their place values to it. Now students, let us see some questions. Write in expanded form. You have to expand this number, 162. So how will do this students? This is 1's place, this is 10's place and this is 100's place. So, we'll add two zeros to 100's place. Then we'll put a plus sign. Then to 10's place, we'll add one zero. And to 1's place, we'll add no zeros. Clear? Number 2. 1429. So, this is 1's place, this is 10's, this is 100's and this is 1000's. So, to thousands place, we'll add three zeros after writing the first digit. Then, we'll put a plus sign. Then, the second digit, four. Then, two zeros to hundreds place. Then, we'll write two. And, we'll add one zero to tens place. And, at last, the number nine, which will have no zeros because it is ones place. Number three, two, four, eight, zero. This is ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So similarly we'll do the same way. We'll write two. Then we'll add three zeros to thousands place. Then we'll put the plus sign. Then we'll write the second number. Four. And add two zeros to hundreds place. Again a plus sign. Then eight. Since this is tens place, we'll add one zero here and at last we'll write zero. Is this clear students? The next topic for today is short form. Short form is just the opposite of expanded form students. In this the expanded form will be given in the question. You just have to write the short form. Now students let us see some questions. Write in short form. Number 1, 100 plus 20 plus 3. Here, what you have to do? You'll write the short form. How? You'll just pick the first digit. 1, 2, 3. You'll write 123. Clear? Number 2, 1000 plus 100 plus 30 plus 9 equals dash. Pick the first number. 1, 1, 3, 9. So your answer will be 1139. That is 1139. Number 3. 2000 plus 900 plus 10 plus 1 equals dash. So you will pick 2. Then 911. So you will write 2911. That is 2,911. Is this clear students? So students, 
What did we study in today's class? We studied important dates, follow the pattern, expanded form and short form. Now students, the important dates notes will be uploaded on your school website and all the worksheets related to these topics will also be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through them. That's all for today students. Thank you and have a nice day.